Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be testing the Brother Hobby uh, Returner R6 2306 2450 KV motor. Now we're going to be doing the bench testing here. First let's just take a quick look at what it comes with, how does it look, and let's just jump to the test results. So as you can tell it just comes in a plain old box like this. And uh, it, it is, I think it was wrapped with some kind of a bubble thing, but I don't remember to be honest. And they do provide you with a bunch of screws. I think for two types of frames, but that is a lot of screws actually. So yeah, that's pretty cool in that perspective. Uh, the motor wires are pretty damn long here. So if we take a look here from 10, uh, you're getting around 270, no, 17 uh, centimeters, which is uh, 170 millimeters. Yes, 170 millimeters. So as you can tell, you'll be able to route a 418 AC no problem. Now, how do they feel? They feel pretty notchy like always like an emacs motor so that's pretty interesting always usually it tends to have more torque or just more noise so uh, it could be a love-hate relationship there the clearance of the magnet is ridiculously gorgeous look at that that's just awesome that is just amazing compared to i don't have anything compared to right now but if you watch previous videos you'll see the racer star uh the windings look very nice the overall color and feel of it looks pretty cool. It's kind of like that titanium uh, thing going for it. But it does feel kind of girly. I mean, for me, but who really cares, right? But um, if it performs good, who, who gives a crap? So overall, it's very nice. They're using that low-profile nut here. So it's not as big as the other one. So this also reduces weight on the motor. And they're using the naked bottom design here. So that'll also even reduce more weight. So let's quickly get its weight here. And... Um, we just get testing because you know we could talk about it all day so it's, it's between 32 and 33 grams so we can say 32.5 grams here so that's pretty good that's with all the wires so obviously if you remove some of the wires off you'll be shutting it down to possibly 31 grams so we can say around 31 grams depending on uh the esc that you're going to be placing so overall i mean it looks very nice the build construction is very good uh the aluminum they use down here is pretty good because i tied it i tried to strip it it didn't strip and um let's just get started all right guys so the results are in for the brother hobby r6 2306 2450 kv motor now i've tested only three props we got the king kong 5045 triblades the dal 5046 triblades and the gem fan 5152 now I'm, I'm noticing a slight trend with the gem fans which is um not very good i mean in efficiency wise and, and performance wise here on the numbers but not in the real world scenario so let's just get started so on the king kong 5045 triblades here we got a maximum of thrust of around 950 grams and uh we got around 11 uh grams of force for uh, torque force so that's what we got right there and we we're pulling roughly 37 amps so 37 amps at 950 grams is um pretty good but i still need m more motors to actually compare to some compare the data here and we will be comparing all the data of all the motors later on i have all this saved currently in a little bit i'm gonna need someone to help me graph it because i don't have time from the application to the website to the videos so i need someone to help with the data here all right so that's one thing we got here so we got 37 amps at 950 grams with the king kong Fort. 5045 triblades now the dal rc we got a couple we have an increase here of around we could roughly say 30 grams or 40 ish grams of thrust of ex, extra thrust here but at the expense of uh around 8 9 10 11 around four extra amps of current as you can tell here so we got 40 41 amps of current we got 900, 974 grams of thrust here so you do get a little bit of more thrust but obviously you do get uh more amperage drawn here so and let's take it the gem fan 5152 this is where it gets kind of strange for me i was always expecting this to be a little bit stronger so it pulled 44 amps we're on on full throttle which is the most out of all of them and uh if we go to the thrust it's also the it's even it's less than the king kong 5045 triblades by just like two grams or so but still you know it's pulling 44 amps it's pulling way too much for the amount of thrust it's putting out now not everything's in thrust but here it's just on the data that's what i'm talking about but overall yeah for some reason this i don't find this efficient on anything i don't know why here 
So let's go ahead and check the propeller efficiency here. Well, not there. Hold on just a moment. All right, let's just check the 75% throttle range because usually you're in this area. So it'd be so the King Kong 5045 on the Brother Hobby motor pulls around 20 amps and around 640 grams of thrust, which is pretty good, and around 7 grams of torque here. So that's pretty nice to see. And if we go down here, we get 660, which is uh, 20 more grams of thrust on the Dow 5046 tri blades at 22 amps. So, you know, those, is it? Yeah, 20, yeah, it's just 20 grams extra for, for two amps. That's, um, yeah, it's up to you here. But, um, yeah, the King Kong seems very efficient on this motor, to be honest. Uh, and, um, yeah, overall, well, let's just take a look at the gem fan also here. We have the thrust 665 grams, which is more than all of them. So that's good at 23 amps. So this is, this is best, I think, in the mid range. I mean, full, full blast. It's more efficient, I think, towards the mid range of the throttle with the gem fans. Now let's just take a look at the like 50% throttle here. It's around 356 grams and 346 for the Dell. So it is also the most on on the lowest throttle, which is 1500 k 1500 um, 1500 uh, for 50% throttle here. And uh, it was pulling nine amps, eight amps here, and eight amps here. So it's somewhat more efficient in the lower throttle range here, I would say. But you know, for me, the King Kong seems to be the best overall uh, propeller. If, if I'm not mistaken here, that seems to be the best here. This is the one I would use, actually. 37 at full full throttle right there. It's a little bit less than this. It's a lot easier on the battery here. So, overall, this motor is pretty good. This is the motor testing results that I have gotten. And I made double, triple, checked all of my information. I've recalibrated everything. I've changed out load cells. I've used different power supplies and batteries and it's very consistent. And I have balancing weights to calibrate everything. And this is the result. And it's very strange to find it from reviewer to reviewer that you find different results. Now I have mine in an open area and uh, there's a wall about two meters away from the backside of the wind. But other than that, everything else is just, um, yeah, this is just normal <laughs> and um well that's it guys so that's concluded for this video uh it's reaching around it's close to one kilogram of thrust you might say depending on the prop but overall it seems pretty nice seems pretty efficient i really like that for a 2306 motor to get close to one kilogram of thrust at around you know less than 40 amps here so i really like that especially with this prop here and well that's going to conclude it for this video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it please consider joining my patreon help support this mission uh we will be uh, putting all these into an excel sheet where you can quickly graph and do everything and it'll be on the website also currently i'm looking for help and um <clears throat> to help do that for me right now because i, I don't have the time to do that because i have other things to do right now finish programming the app and the websites for the countdown timer to all be synced with the website and um that's really it so i really hope you guys enjoyed it please consider joining my patreon it really supports the channel you get awesome secret stuff and you'll get also awesome giveaways and um yeah that's it guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you next time see you guys take care